My name is Bertha Junior Tobias. I am a graduate of the United World College of Changshu, China. I am also an incoming international relations undergraduate student at the Claremont McKenna College in the United States of America, and I'm the hashtag Be Free Ambassador. So my involvement with Be Free was very coincidental. It all started when I attended the launch in 2016. They needed somebody to do a vote of thanks um, and they asked the nearest youth and I did it. And ever since then, I've had a sustained series of interactions with the hashtag Be Free movement up until 2017 when they asked me to be their Be Free ambassador. Um, it's been very challenging. Uh, it's also been very rewarding. It's been challenging because it's a platform for me to do things that I'm genuinely passionate about. So social education, youth empowerment, uh, those are all issues that are very close to my heart. So that means that I'm constantly asking myself the question, am I doing justice with the platform and or the avenue that I've been given? But it's also been very rewarding in the sense that I get, I have access to a network of amazing people, young people who are doing great things. Um, and it's also opened me up to a lot, so, to a lot of other professional opportunities. Uh, as a Be Free Ambassador, a lot of the work that I do um, can be summed up to something like public relations, right, for the lack of a better term. So that means facilitating frank dialogue and or conversations between different stakeholders whenever we have events, um, sometimes featuring on social media platforms, delivering poems and or speeches whenever I'm called upon um, to fulfill my duties. Uh, but a lot of it also has to do with uh, facilitating and or helping develop concepts that maximize engagement or concepts concepts that appeal to the youth. Um, so it's, it's a mishmash of everything really. significantly validates a lot of the problems that young people are facing. So it reminds us that we are not collectively crazy, we are not deluding ourselves into thinking that we have problems that don't actually exist. Because when you create an entire platform for us to have conversations about things that affect us daily, you effectively send the message to young people then that our problems are valid, our concerns are valid. So I think that's what it does, right? It gives us a safe space, um, it lets us air our concerns and as such it helps us literally be better uh, citizens of Namibia and just of the global community in general. I think Project Be Free is important because it is a manifestation of all the work that we've put in thus far. Um, it is a reference point that communicates or sends the message to young people that there's a physical safe space for them to go to when they need to have any of their needs as a young person fulfilled. But above and beyond that, it is also a testament to the work that we've done and it is a legacy. Um, it helps uh, validate the notion that hashtag Be Free is a standalone legacy. It's not something that only exists because it's affiliated to a higher national and or public office, but it's an entity on its own. And that something like Be Free, something that will, it will help Be Free reverberate beyond the walls of, of, of a government or of five years or any time really. Uh, I think one of the most important things with getting involved with Be Free is proactivity uh, because of the nature of uh, a movement like Be Free. There are a lot of young people who want to get involved and because there's so many young people who want to get involved, it's important that you're consistent in communicating, that you're available to offer your services, your time, that you're dedicated to facilitating uh, the, the sort of the progress of the movement, right? So I think it's proactivity and understanding that Be Free is not inaccessible to any young person who wants to jump on board.